ladies and gentlemen welcome back to a brand new video of spiritual awakening my current power you guys were like talking about how my current power was way too low on the 60 600 000 when i was level 63 and is insane bad awful well now i'm at almost 800 000 and i i'm doing well it's okay it's good i've been leveling stuff up i actually have a couple of upgrades to do because i i uh i went ahead and leveled up to 64. Uh, I can go ahead and upgrade Ichigo, Byakuya, Soifon, Itsugaya, and then we can go ahead and unleash Yamamoto to a higher tier. Now he's going to be rank 7, which actually makes him pretty goddamn viable for most things. What is this new attack going to be? Nani. Oh, so it's going from just like Nani. in one place, like a Kuro Kurohitsugi, to a scaling slow thing. Well, that's actually really good. What's his current power? Is he above Kenny? He's above Kenny! Yes! Barely, but he's he's still above. That is an important thing. Um, I actually don't have anyone anyone else I can rank up, I don't think. Like, Uryu, I need a, a little bit more. You could do Ryuken, actually. I don't really need him for anything, so it's probably fine. Who deserves it? Who deserves my love? Um, you know what? Sajin is actually a pretty important one, I think. And Gein, I don't have anything of anyway. Let's do Sajin. I think he deserves to be a little bit stronger. He, he, he apparently went Bonkai, despite already having his Bonkai before. Sure. I guess that works. Oh, because his, his first attack is now a Bonkai too. That's cool. And he's still probably pretty low here. Yeah, he's, he's just below Tosin. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rank up him. This was all character defense as much as I need, as much as I can. Because if I do that, obviously... Ichigo becomes even more powerful, and it's it's a thing that I've been missing out on because I actually didn't realize until very recently that is a thing that happens, where if you upgrade one thing, you gain stuff in all regards. So that's, thank you so much to all of you for telling me that. I really appreciate it. So now we're almost 800,000, actually. We're very, very close. Um, while I'm going at this and going to be doing the episode for today, I actually want to discuss a tweet I saw today from an account. I'm not going to say whose account it is. But I, I, the, uh, he made really two really, really bad tweets. It's about Smash 4, okay? It's about Smash 4 and the competitive scene. This guy made a tweet that says, How am I supposed to treat someone I want to fuck the same as someone I don't want to fuck? Please explain how that makes any sense at all. Oh, that made someone subscribed. I didn't realize I had that on. I guess I have the notifications on. That's terrifying, actually. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, he said, "How is it? How, explain, please explain to me how that makes any sense at all. I, I, I don't understand the mindset here. And he made another tweet later where it was about a, a Wii Fit cosplayer that did like a porn, okay? It's, it's a porn thing. And his comment is the breasts aren't big enough. And he was talking about in the replies how a accurate cosplay needs to have the boob be the right size and be accurate. And that's fucking stupid. I really don't understand people at all. I'm going to go ahead and do a division battle here because it doesn't really matter at all. Oh, we're at halfway on this guy, actually. That's pretty good. But yeah, it's... I don't understand the mindset of people that are like, oh, if I want to fuck someone and they don't want to fuck me, then clearly there's something wrong with them. And it is their fault. And if I treat them in a good way, Two, I deserve one, sex. Five. And if... If they, if I want to have sex with them, I can't treat them the same way as if I didn't, because that is, in some way, betraying my own expectations, and that's, oh, oh, that's disgusting. That is just not a good thing at all. I'm gonna go ahead and run away. Um, dash, and dash. We'll do this. Down. Go boom. We're doing well here. This is how it should be. She's very consistent in terms of damage on the division activities. To be honest, her like her stun locking move set is insane. Ow! All right, nuke. We do it. All right, he's about to, he's gonna go into rage soon, so I should probably actually be very careful. I'll do this just to get knock him down. Oh god, I accidentally did it twice. I want to do the nuke there. It doesn't really matter that much, to be honest. The damage is still high. I wish I had fireworks on, but I just realized it and I didn't swap it out when I was doing this. Unfortunate, but not a huge deal. 
Nuke. And he's about to go into rage. So I'm going to go ahead and back off for a while. Um, and be very careful. Because it, it's it's time for the fuck. Like when it hits 40, it's when it starts. We'll do this. And go ahead and pop this. Do a little bit of damage. We're not going to get the most damage off, obviously. Because he doesn't get hit by it. And like knocked up. But he does take more damage here. So that actually is a pretty good scenario. And we are good to go. We'll go ahead and be careful. He did a little bit of damage to me. Doesn't really matter that much. We're going to go ahead and pop our nuke. That does so much damage, dude. And it's over. We did we did quite a bit of damage. I actually wonder how, how high we got. I want to say like 5 million. 6.5 million damage. That is fucking insane. I am happy. Okay, we're, we're getting really good at division battles. But yeah, I, I, what I was discussing before, I just really don't understand people that assume they deserve things that they don't. They really don't. And treat people good just for the sake of getting in the pants of the various people that exist in this world. I just really don't comprehend that mindset. People are... People are kind of scummy sometimes. I think that's a pretty good rule to live by. People are pretty scummy some of the time and just... I, I don't know. Maybe I, I shouldn't be talking about this because obviously... Issues. Don't talk about them because they, they are a bad thing. Also, you guys may have noticed already, it's six minutes into the video, but you may have noticed that I am currently wearing new glasses. Um, I actually had this pair of spare inside my box that I have hidden behind my monitor for my glasses. I don't really wear these ones because I have under eye bags, like really, really terrible. And if you, if I have my under eye bags extremely visible, then uh, it looks a little bit weird because I, I look like a very sad man. But I think... In terms of recording, you don't really see my eye bags too closely, so it's not too bad. And like, I kind of kind of look like framed well, you know? Like my, my my general frame, it looks a lot better on recording whenever I'm using these glasses. So I'll I'll use this for now. We'll see how it goes. I, I just I think I I look I look all right. I think I'm happy with how I look in the current situation that's currently happening. So that works. What do I need? Oh, I need your Reiji. We're good. All right, I kind of want to top up a little bit more because when I top up next, plus it, this is the uh, multiple thing, but top up when I top up next, I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, hot spring times ten, which is gonna be amazing because I really really need that because that would speed up this process of like dating dating or hot spring hot spring hot spring hot spring hot spring, and make it a lot faster. And honestly, the benefits for hot springs are incredible. So if I could do that fast and be able to use my tickets that I have, I'm not using every day on that okay I have 400 tickets for the male version if i pop that all just continuously i could get so many benefits i could get so many shinsuis i could get so many Yoroichis. it would just help me a lot in terms of what i want to get so i want to top up a little bit however my bank account currently there is a dollar 74 so i may not have a chance to do that anytime soon but that's an issue that i'll run with another day um I will have money coming in soon to be able to use, and I'll probably use that to be able to use the dice I currently have in the game to be able to top up and see if we can get like... So what you do is is you'll get the benefit of... So I'm going to pay 50 next time I top up so I can get to the, the benefit I need. But so if I pay 50, I'll get 3,000 Megatomas plus 33, or well, it's times two. So you can get another an extra 3,300. As well as, I'm going to have the mul multiple, uh, the, the dice thing. And if I get a six on that dice... Okay, one, one second. We're going we're to quickly do some math here. We're gonna quickly, let me pull this up. All right. So six times... Oh, no. Six times three, three, zero, zero equals times two. That's around 40,000 Megatomas. Now, the chances of it actually being six are so fucking low... It's probably never going to happen. However, it is a possibility. And if that ends up happening, that would be actually ridiculous. I can't even dream of what I could possibly get there. But for now, we're good, I think. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple soul trials for today. Just to, just to chill. We'll get a couple more minutes in here, at least. Um, just going to get the stage done. Sweep. And I got a couple of Tosins, actually. Can I actually rank them up at any time soon? Like, I think I'm quite close, right? Oh, I have plenty. I just need his, uh, I need Hokyoku's. 
All right, that's a slow process. We'll get there. I should probably rank up um, Ichigo a little bit more, just because he's a quite important part of my team. And of course, he's he's gonna get a little bit higher, no matter what. So that works. Um, what else do I need to do today? Oh right, on my dailies, I don't really have too much to be able to get done, so we should be good. I want to get my power to uh, 800,000 today, but I don't know how to get an extra 3,000 power. Um, how close am I to unlocking Unahana? We're actually decently close. I could get there today if I kind of focused things down and got good. But for now, we're going to go ahead and pop... Um, well, let's play as Gen Ryusai. We're about the same amount of power anyway, and I think it could be fun. I'm going to take a drink. This because I'm thirsty. I also have the Deadpool glass today, which is cool. We got um, four Deadpool glasses for, I think it was $2 at HMV when it was closing. Because that thing is super dead. So that's always cool. I was really happy with that. Also, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Deadpool. So, of course, representing him and, and the hero we all deserve is very good. Here, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, wow, you got burned and killed. That's good. I actually got a kill there. That's always a good thing. Yamamoto, I feel like he, he's hard to kill with. Um, he's more of a damage over time type character. So, basically, do your damage and run away. Which is fine. That's good. He doesn't really have this, like, blunt amount of damage. But he does do enough damage to actually justify using him. This Uri is going to be quite scary because he is actually a lot more powerful than I am. I probably don't have much of a chance here. Plus, rank 10 Uryu is just, in general, a very scary force in Soul Trial because he actually uses his attacks. And that makes him a threat. I'm going to dash in. And use this. Wow. You didn't give a shit at all. Here. Take some of this. Does that work out for you? Do you like the damage? Yeah, you do. We got the big burn. We got the big kendo. We're good to go. I'm happy. I'm happy with what we've gotten. We've gotten here. I'm a, I'm a joyous man. <sighs> All right, we're gonna do one more. Or no, this is the benefit where I get the stamina. Never mind. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do more today and just kind of get more stuff done. But for, that's it for this episode. Obviously, we didn't, we didn't do the most here, but I think it's fine, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and buy more of those. We, do, we do need to actually rank up. Um, our various... Oh, God, I just pressed the wrong button. Oh, fuck. That was a mistake. Yeah, I need to rank up my characters over the process of time. So I'll get a little more and more, more powerful soon, and we'll be good to go. We're so close to getting the 800,000, but that'll be tomorrow's episode, I think. I think we're good to go for now. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's actually a pretty good time. We're going to go ahead and do a couple sweeps here of, of Gein's level, just so we can get some stuff done. And I'll see you next time on the next... Ow. Fuck. Next episode of Spiritual Awakening. Bye.